Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be planning in my Fobonichi slash Happy Notes slash social media planner. As always, I have my lines, my pages outlined. I have my boxes pre-drawn in. Mine are always seven by 20. And then that leaves you with these odd boxes down here that are five by 20. But you can do any configuration that you like. There's no wrong way to do this. Here is a quick look at last week's after the pen. I use these daily, these micro daily pages again for a few things. So it is Friday. It's not fully filled in, but you guys get the gist of it. So this week we are going to be doing some really fun, bright colors. Cause you know, hi, have we met? Um, but we're gonna be doing some fun, bright colors. Um, I pulled mostly from the Happy Quotes, this super fun multi-pack trendsetter, and the student icon sticker book. But I also have colorful boxes and the alphabet sticker book over here just in case. So I'm going to outline these and erase my pencil marks and then we're going to get started. Okay, now that I have my boxes all drawn in and my pencil mark all erased, I'm going to start by adding this really big checklist over here because I knew exactly where I wanted to put it, so I wanted to put that down first. And I'm just gonna add this checklist over here to Monday and Tuesday, just right down this little, like one third of it. And then now I'm going to start working on my little faux washi down here in my little odd shaped boxes. I'm gonna be using these little, I guess, sprinkles, confetti. They are from the Student Icons book. And I'm also going to be using some of these little rainbows that are also from the Student Icons. I just pulled the page out of the book. And I'm gonna be using both of those to create our little faux washi. Like, I love these little rainbow stickers, but I never kind of know where to put them. So I thought this would be really kind of fun way to use them. So I'm just gonna be like chopping them up and kind of making them work in the space. Just kind of sprinkling them around. You guys have seen me do this in other spreads, just basically cutting them to make them fit, to give that little faux washi effect. So that's what I'll be doing for a minute. Uh, I actually had another video scheduled to go up this week, but it I accidentally deleted it because I was working with an actual camera camera and not on my phone like I normally do. So. <laughs> It's all part of the learning process and I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support and You guys are so awesome. Like you guys blow me away every day. So I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking around and commenting and you know being so supportive of everything Okay, so now I think I'm nearing the end of doing this I'm just trying to fill in any of these odd spots that are left and then I'm gonna put a few more of the little sprinkle confetti things, stickers, sprinkle confetti stickers, in just to kind of fill in a little bit of that white space. I wasn't, I wasn't really trying to strategically place them. I just basically wanted to, to be like no white space. Okay, so we're nearing the end. There we go, I'm just trimming up a few extra little pieces and filling all that in. Can you guys believe it's almost June? Like, where did May even go? <laughs> I don't even know. So, okay, I'm gonna take this big box sticker, full box sticker, and I wanna make a cluster at the end of that checklist. I'm gonna grab this little I don't know, it's not a full box, but it's, I don't know. I'm gonna grab that and kind of layer it behind this full box, just like that. Now I'm gonna take these two circle stickers, and I wanna put it over here, but I'm going to trim that up just a little bit so it lays kind of nice and flush with my line going down the side here. Now I'm gonna place my little goal sticker right there. I believe that is on Thursday. I'm gonna add a, just a random little rainbow so it all kind of feels connected. Okay, I'm just gonna flip through my Trendsetter sticker book. I'm looking for like a, a banner or like a really thin, long header, something I can put there in my little open page, but I didn't really find anything that just kind of jumped out at me. 
or that I just had to use. So I left that alone for a little while. I'm going to grab my purple mild liner, or I think this one might actually be called the magenta one, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm just going to create my days of the week's header headers really quickly and then fill those in with my pen really quickly. But I'm also going to make just a little simple header over here and write notes. And then I'm going to start on my days of the week going from Sunday all the way to Monday. I find it's just easier to make my own little days of the week header instead of trying to find stickers or use the alphabet sticker book. I tried that a few times and it's just really, really, like, that's an extra level of difficult. So now I'm just kind of looking for uh, some of these bulletin points or icons, whatever you want to call them. I actually put those on Wednesday, but I meant to put those on Tuesday. Those are the days I'm going to be filming videos for the upcoming, or next week, these are the days I'm gonna be filming on. So I'm gonna be putting them on Sunday and Saturday and Tuesday, but I'm gonna switch those in just a minute up to Tuesday and off of Wednesday. It's just like a little thing I wanted to make, like a notification, or notification, what? Um, to give myself like a little, to make it stand out more on my page that, hey, today you need to film this video type of thing give myself a notification, like a paper notification. What? Okay, anyway, back to it. So uh, now that I moved those to Tuesday, I'm just adding this fun little green arrow here just because I thought it was cute, honestly. And I'm just kind of looking at everything and seeing how I feel about everything all together. I wanted to grab one of these little, I guess, what, quarter boxes. I'm going to use this purple one and put it on Thursday. And thinking that's gonna be about it. So there's a close up look at everything. I'm gonna pop it back on the discs and then I'm gonna take pictures immediately after this. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. As always, picture at the end. Bye guys.